The amount of time it took for me to get here is uh, honestly concerning. A couple months ago, me and uh, one of my best friends, Sam, talked about the idea of discipline and how both of us were sort of striving to get to this level of discipline that we thought was necessary for us to sort of pursue our goals and our dreams. And, uh, you know, during that conversation, I was like fully motivated to, you know, continue to post videos or, you know, edit or take photos or do these different interests that I have, you know. And uh, I say this to say that, like, the idea of discipline is something that I'm pursuing and has become a huge topic in my life as of recent about just being consistent for myself. What is the idea of consistency and how can it be a, like, how can it be accomplished? You know, something, it's something so simple. You know, the idea of consistency is like showing up for yourself every time, rather that be like in the gym, with your health, with your, what you eat for your loved ones, calling people, doing this, like creating things for yourself. Like the idea of showing up every time for you and those sort of the fruits of your labor eventually just starting to materialize because of that consistency but yeah i haven't really done it though so i guess in this sort of a venting session i just wanted to talk to myself about how do you be consistent or honestly how not being consistent has made me feel recently uh alma made me delete tiktok <laughs> And uh, you know, like a few months back, uh, she also made me delete TikTok. You know, it had a really good effect on my uh, mental health. Actually, I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I think it has something to do with sort of the instant gratification and the dopamine of just scrolling every time on TikTok, and you have this new opportunity to just like I don't know, laugh or be informed or see some food you like or just like these different things. But it's like. I guess what people call it is like it's like false like false gratification or something it's like it's the instant dopamine but it's like fake dopamine because you actually don't really get anything from it and uh yeah that was a recent development another recent development is that I bought a PS5 and I got college football 25 <laughs> And if any of y'all know or play that game, the only thing that mattered to me is bringing a national championship to the University of California in the year 2028, you know? But like, I don't know, y'all. I've been, as per usual, feeling a little empty inside, you know? My mom came to visit Copenhagen about a month ago now at this point and something that I learned while my mom was here honestly I've learned a lot of things but one of the things that like is most present in mind is just I don't have the ability to grasp the moment that I'm in I feel like it's lacking in a lot of ways like I don't know how to live in the present and maybe that's just a product of something bigger with my personality is that I'm so I guess you would describe me as an empath like I feel everything and everybody's emotions and all that shit but I I don't know how to not think about the past and the future and I think about them all at the same time and it doesn't allow for me to sort of be present and I don't really know what being present actually means I don't I visually cannot comprehend what that means so I think I'm in the process of trying to figure that out because when my mom was here the moment always felt like it was fleeting you know I only get to see my mom maybe twice a year for like two weeks at a time at this point but I couldn't 
get out of the thought that like my mom is gonna leave at some point i couldn't get the thought out of my mind that like oh my mom leaves in a week or my mom leaves in two days or like it's just i couldn't get past that thought and be in the moment to enjoy my mom being right in front of me even though you know i did a lot of amazing things with her and i enjoyed my time with my mom and i loved her and she loved being here it was never enough for my like personal satisfaction because i knew that she was leaving and it when she did leave i sort of broke down and then the weeks after didn't really recover as far as like the homesickness and the feeling of guilt as well like what am i doing here i think something that i mean i don't watch people's like expat stuff about living away from home but something that i suffer from is like i suffer from the guilt of the double guilt being sad you know I, for as long as I can remember, have been somebody that's suffered from depression and all of these different things. And I paired with the thing about being an empath that I said earlier, all of these things, like things are very heavy for me. Also, I am a triple Pisces for whoever that, um, whoever that, you know, means something to. And honestly, I feel it in my life. I, while brought and away from home and from friends and family, often feel like sad in general and i feel like it's compounded by the fact that i'm not at home and it makes me feel guilty about the fact that i should be happy i chose to live here i chose to come back to denmark and to some education get a job all these different things so when i am going through a rough patch i often feel a level of guilt because I feel like I'm not appreciating the reality that I manifested for myself and I'm taking it for granted the time that I have here, but also the time that I'm being away from home and people's lives are still going on. I've had friends and family pass while I've been in Copenhagen and that only exacerbates the problem of me not appreciating both being here, but then also with me not appreciating being here, I'm not at home, I'm not able to be at birthdays and parties and like just go and see people. And I chose to be here just to be sad. That's kind of just like what I think about in my head or that's just how it sort of materializes itself in my head. I've never been able to, like I said, be in the moment to be like this is where I am now this is where I'm living now this is where my life is now and appreciate that I'm living in this place but also appreciate that I have another home that I can consider and that I visit every year now it's like the duality of life like it's not that I don't love home and it's not that like one day I couldn't move home even I don't think about it but it's like if I'm not gonna enjoy my life here, then why am I here? Which is like a really, it's not a positive thought to have. You know? Like, of course you're gonna be sad every now and then. And like, you can't just always be on the high. I can't be like, since I live in Copenhagen, I'm just like this super positive person. Like I am who I am. That person is a little dark, you know? So I'm working on being present in the moment and appreciating life as it is appreciating creating appreciating the people around me the landscape that i see every day the small things in life i think with working on how to appreciate those things is where i come back to this visual journaling who knows if i put this out but if i do i appreciate whoever watches and I'll see you whenever I decide to do this again.